Gamers, you want to unlock your prismatic subclass, fragments, aspects, supers, all the juice so you can enjoy what you spent your money on because yesterday the servers were bad? Sit back, relax. I'm going to break down every single step I did to unlock every single fragment and aspect. I do want to point out that these are the locations of the fragments that you get after campaign. So while you're playing the campaign, you're probably going to open up a few chests, not the hidden ones, just playing the loot chests and unlock some fragments. So let's get into where you can find them all and unlock your full subclass. First off, when you beat the campaign, don't want to throw any spoilers up for you. You're going to pick up the Ergo Sum Sword Quest. This pops up after you beat the campaign. Hoorah! And they want you to keep progressing in the story so you can get ready for the raid. When you get to the point of the Destin's Heroes quest and it says lost in the dark and found in the dark, this is going to be your light and dark abilities, your aspects, your grenades, your supers. So this is where you want to progress for your next stop in unlocking it all. Once you complete the mission and you do what it says, it's going to ask you to synergize this with light. And this is going to give you your light super, the consecration aspect as well which is huge. And then it's gonna ask you to launch part two. Once you finish step two, you're gonna interact with the light chest and it's going to give you your hammer of soul, your light subclass that was locked. So the steps would be as you're progressing through this quest, you're going to unlock your grenades and you're gonna unlock your aspect and then you're gonna unlock your super. When you finish both of these, part one and part two, you'll end up unlocking the light and the dark. Complete both of these and progress on to get your exotic sword and you should have all your grenades, your supers, and your aspects. If you're wondering how to get like the new Void Titan Super or the Solar Radiant or the Arc Super for the Hunter, it's just playing through the story. If you're wanting to skip the campaign on your second character like I did, do realize that your fragments will stay. Those are account wide, but your grenades aspects are going to have to be redone on that quest. So you'll have the new super that you unlocked in the campaign. You just won't have the light and dark subclass. Like me, I don't have tether or the strand for the hunter. I just have to go complete those quests real quick and I'll have them unlocked. All right, I'm gonna try and get through these as fast as I can. This is gonna be devotion, the fragments. When we were in the descent, leaving this mission chat told me to turn around that there was a chest so instead of you going to the exit you can simply turn left and get this fragment right here as you see here they're telling me to to leave but i pause turn around i'm like hey wait a minute let me grab it so i turn around i see the prismatic chest on the corner and this will give me devotion there is going to be more in these um story missions so i'm going to try and point out every single one so that's fragment number one which is devotion so for the next one this is the grace fragment sorry i didn't point out on the map where i was but we were kind of on these rooftops where the enemies spawn what we're doing here is we're just snooping around trying to find the next prismatic chest and we come across it and realize that we have to do some hidden objectives to get the chest open once this tormentor spawns after we did all the objectives he falls off the map. We're like, hey, come back. He ends up spawning again. We kill him and we're actually going to get the key to open up the prismatic chest. It is the elevated prismatic key. So if you follow this route, Thor's excited too because I'm finally done with this. You're gonna follow this route and go to the chest and unlock it to get the grace fragment. Next up, we're in the refraction zone. As you see, I pull up my ghost here and kind of show you what cave I was in. We stumbled across this puzzle and found out there were some cool hidden things to get another fragment here. Pretty much that solar stone up there will spawn and you're looking to slam on the three symbols that you see down below. So I just tell my teammate VC like, hey, here's your symbol, slam it there. Once you slam all three correct symbols that I'm looking at, uh, we have turret last. So we're just gonna dunk that last one and spawn the boss and kill him. Once you kill the boss, get the prismatic key and unlock the justice fragment. All right, for some reason, this next fragment, you don't show up on the map. So it's it's like in the back of the guardians where you see the um traveler and you see where the witness entered i mean this is just pretty crazy I, I i don't know what this area is called this one's kind of a pain you have to find four mini ghosts and then stand on the plates and kill the boss at the end so we're going to speed this up we'll just put numbers on screen number one show you where the ghost is number two number three number four and then spawn the boss kill him real quick and get the fragment for mending all right so just wanted to point out uh, I know this is a lot of info to take in. How do you get the memory vestiges? There's little public events around like this, finding these dark chests around the whole planet on the Pale Heart. So when you do stuff like this and you dispel the corruption, you're going to get these memory vestiges. But just remember, you can only get so many. There's going to be a point where you stop getting the fragments and you'll just get mods for the Pale Heart. That's letting you know that you got them all or that kind of section of your subclass. This next one, you're going to have to head down these pipes and do another puzzle. You're going to have to 
find a scorch cannon and find some icicles to shoot with it and pretty much stack these balls up uh, so that both meters are full if you overfill them it will spit it out and redo it once you find all the icicles with the scorch cannon bring it over here jump through the window and complete the little mini puzzle and it will spawn a boss kill the boss and get the sweet sweet loot for the command fragment i don't know the correct order that we planted in both machines i just know that you had to add them both up i don't want to say the wrong thing here in the part of this quest i know that solar void and arc costed a few points difference if you overflow the machine it'll spit them back out and restart the next fragment is going to be honor as you see here we were running around trying to get those fragments and i was doing public events and after i got five of them it gave me a legendary one as soon as it pops up on the map i show you here in my inventory what that uh, purple one looks like and then it pops up on your map as that circle it tells me to go to that area these are random by the way it just depends which ones you get and i went up the pipes here went in the snowy area went to the mountain went over to the right hand side and picked up this chest for the honor fragment this next fragment for solitude i was doing the same thing we were running around the pale heart um doing those uh darkness chests getting five of the blues to turn it into a purple this is the second time we did it and it turned into solitude i jumped up here found out that it was on the corner here again it let me know that i was in the area i jumped down on the side of the map and picked up the chest here so this fragment right here it says memory transgressive darkness i did get five blues and it turned into a purple this is what happens when you know you've got all the world like i call these the world chest fragments because they're like kind of in the free roam this is what happens when you open up one that you've done too many times meaning you've like got like three fragments from this area i ran up to the chest to open it and it only gave me a traveler's grace blessing mod and i was like hey where's my fragment the game's just letting you know that you're done with that kind of step of the subclass and you must move on to something different like the other locations that i'm showing you this next clip is in that same area you're going to look for that red cube and go in the corner here as you see the transgression area you're going to go in here and do another puzzle this is pretty fun you're going to have to buff yourself with shooting the nodes and take care of all the acolyte eyes these acolyte eyes will keep respawning you'll have to move around more you'll have to shoot the nodes that get you the buff so you don't die to darkness rinse and repeat until you've done this once you spawn the boss and you kill him he's going to drop that prismatic key and you'll be able to open up that chest and get the defiance fragment all right second story divide this is the second fragment that's going to be in the story there's three of them i walked past this so many times i can't believe i didn't see it but you're on that snow mountain you're gonna be finding what are we gonna call this we're gonna call that the jump on the side of the airplane drop down right in front of your face and simply do this on normal mode claim that reward and get this second story chest we got the first one when we were running from the shriekers now this is the second one uh i forgot what mission this is it's the last three <laughs> and this was the bravery fragment so when you got those three fragments from the story missions and you're all out of just getting those random fragments to drop from those darkness chests you need to figure out a new way to get them this is what took me so long today so what i did was is i went to micah for the ghost quest and this rewards is going to be for your weapons and this is going actually going to unlock the heavy exotic trace rifle quest as well and as you're progressing convalescence this is when we started realizing that this also unlocked fragments as well so for this next part i do not want to spoil it for you there's a really cool next step and you might want to figure it out let's just say bring a sword you're going to be able to go in this cool cave and do some cool mechanics if you want a little hint to spawn the sword and start swinging but once you finish it it's going to give you the progression on the next quest step and you'll have to return to the lost city once you return to the lost city by the way it's going to give you the exotic heavy trace rifle that you will have to complete those three missions on 2005 difficulty so you might want to level up for that but yeah if you want to get the exotic trace rifle this quest does unlock it so the mission you just saw me do you're gonna to have to do a lot we did this thing about four or five times because there's different series of them i'll get to that later but anyways once we did finish that mission it did give me a fragment to go locate on the map now this is random it wasn't the same as the other teammates of mine but me when i picked up this prismatic reward it did give me the awakening fragment so if you get this one come here or if it, you got another one i'll have that location in the video as well and this is what i'm talking about it's gonna open up alone in the dark and this is where the time came in we actually had to recover i think we had to recover four of these the last three you're probably sitting on come from alone in the dark quest it took me a while to figure this out so you're gonna have to repeat these and do these go to lost sectors i'll pretty much walk you through the steps right here so yeah go in the lost sector come outside 
Go do the overthrow. Uh, get used to them. They're going to make you do a lot of overthrow. So get ready to spawn those chests. As soon as you get 100% on the quest, you'll move to the next part. And it will take you to the lost sector where you will get your new fragments. As you see, when I went into my inventory, I realized that I was getting fragments for the next one. But I also had a... Uh, legendary one in there so when i finished this alone in the dark quest i knew that i could head to the next fragment location chest but i was already building materials for my next one once you finish this one as you see this is i've already done this ghost recovered three times i just kept doing these and doing these so i could get the last couple fragments that i was missing make sure you use the map for this next one when i was locating dominance here i took the long way i went in those dark caves and vc was laughing at me so i'm gonna open up the ghost here and show you where this chest is uh it was very annoying i kind of went through so yeah this location very annoying once i found out where it was i'm gonna open it up here and get that fragment of dominance again we headed back in and i got another memory here to drop blooming of light again we just kept doing the low in the dark doing these dungeons doing the mechanics repeating the quests over and over god i love doing public events so now we got the blooming one we're going to look for it i know that i'm in the area i open up my map cannot see where it is i'm right on top of it jump towards this big tree i'm talking about the big 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 tree that i couldn't even see and the chest will be here on your left hand side open it up and your fragment will be there the fragment of generosity so in the last mission, when you're running up and you finally see this dog or Ahamkara statue, that's Ahamkara, by the way, go to the left and jump through this hole up at the top corner, and this will lead you to the chest and give you the fragment that's in that story mission. It can be done on normal or legend sacrifice. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, hopefully I got you unlocked and prepped for the raid. Got that full subclass. We're going to be cranking out some builds here soon. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.